Hi, and thank you so much for tuning in today to the channel. I wanted to share with you my recent water heater replacement experience. I thought it was something um, that would help future homeowners as well as those as well as those who already own their own home just to have this information in your mind to anticipate something like this and not have it catch you off guard could help save you hundreds of thousands of dollars so with that in mind let me begin so the water heater was compromised we had to get it replaced i called the warranty company out and they sent an inspector and the inspector came from the plumbing company that would perform the job because it wasn't a job that I wanted to do. I'm not familiar with plumbing and this is unfamiliar territory. I'm not saying that I couldn't have learned it, but I needed this resolved as soon as possible. As you can see, it's a job that requires multiple hands, strong hands. These people were called out because their company is licensed, bonded, and insured, and they work in partnership with the warranty company so as a homeowner i felt very good knowing that should there be any question about their workmanship or the work that was done after the fact i would have a recourse and so that's what my warranty provided me something else you might consider as a homeowner investing in a warranty plan because anytime big items like um, appliances would go out you have some help and the amount that they covered was respectful enough and the amount that I paid out of pocket was respectful enough as well. So that was a huge help. I like the fact that these technicians had the uh, shoe coverings appreciative of them being respectful of my home in that manner. Now, there was an incident, excuse me, there was an incident where I did have to provide a few of my personal belongings to help them complete the job, like the tarp um, that you're going to see, or you may have seen it, the blue tarp, that's mine. Also, a wet dry vac because the water from the um, uh, water heater, the old unit, was not completely drained and the young man caused it caused the water to leak somehow he had an incident in the attic so that that had to happen um so the wet dry vac was used also um there was another incident where while i'm going to inspect you'll see it here with your own two eyes when i went upstairs to inspect their work in the attic i noticed that there was a lot of trash thrown about and that the insulation which i'm not expecting it to be pristine clean but i am expecting you to pick up after yourself after you've completed a job at least that's how we do it and when i went into my attic and i saw this trash just thrown all over the place to include like old parts from the old water heater just thrown into the insulation I found that to be quite disrespectful of um, of a person's home and you know just simply asking for a trash can or a trash bag you know that could have been resolved but if I could say that that was the most displeasing thing I experienced that would be it but as far as their quality of work it, everything looked and appeared to be well um, and what I inspected appeared to be in good working order. They did test everything before they left. So that was a plus on their part. Now when, um, when they did leave, I had another gentleman pull up to the house so that he could complete the part of the job on the rooftop. He had to go up and seal the uh, ventilation he sealed it from the inside of the home and the outside of the home and there was a bit of confusion as to whether or not he would have to go on the inside of the home i was informed that he would not but when he got there he told me he needed to come upstairs and get into the attic to make sure that it was sealed from the inside as well um, they pointed out to me some something with the um the air conditioning and so i just took a picture here for my own sake that i need to take care of that also as soon as possible i didn't like that he took my documents out for for my um air conditioner and just threw them on the floor like that i i didn't have my documents out in that manner and so it kind of 
plays on your mind like maybe or what if he would sabotage my unit which there are some people that would do things like that and like I said earlier I didn't like that they just threw their trash I think the black in the back that you see those are their gloves and there's plastic wrappings from some of the plumbing parts that they used to um, install the new unit that's just thrown around in the insulation I didn't like that part of the job I didn't like that part of their workmanship let me say it that way but am I happy that the warranty company found somebody to get the hot water back into my home um, or get hot water again running into the home? Yes, absolutely. Am I happy with some of their workmanship? No, of course not. I didn't like having to provide some of their tools also because I expect um, any entrepreneur to anticipate um, these things in his craft. And, and like I said, that wasn't the case with these technicians, ideally. I'm thankful that it was a warranty company because at least now I know the company that I will not choose. You know, I would ask for a different company and I, I called in and I had a report put in um, on the file sharing what I'm sharing with you guys. So I hope the video is um, helpful to you if you ever have to have a job done like this. At least you will have some idea as to number one, what to anticipate. And also you'll be able to say, hey, I know I don't want people leaving trash in my home, or I know I don't want someone walking into my home, tracking in under their shoes, all sorts of things. So you could pick up some information from my experience. And like I said, um, definitely not, no one's going to leave trash in your home. This is what I gathered after they left. So I hope it's beneficial to somebody. If this helps one person, then awesome. We did our work. We did our job. And um, yeah, please comment below and let me know if you've had such an experience. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.